Christmas pudding is at the heart of a Christmas dinner. This is a pound of beef suet. It's all been chopped up. It's going to make a very large pudding, this. Now I need half a pound of flour, half a pound of breadcrumbs, half a pound of sugar. I've got a pound of raisins and a pound of currants, a couple of teaspoons of mixed spice, and half a nutmeg, a quarter of a pound of chopped candy peel. Pinch of salt. Now I need a very zesty bit of the lemon. We've got eight eggs, which need to be beaten together. And finally, the brandy. The recipe calls for two wine glassfuls, but of course, Victorian glasses are pretty tiny. That's one, two. Mix the whole lot up. Hands are best for this. You get a much better finish. Victorian Christmas became more and more of a festival of family. And one by one, everybody would be called down to the kitchen to give a mix a good stir. Okay, that's looking all nicely mixed. Now, get ready to put it in the cloth. Some water. We need this cloth nice and damp. This creates a seal as soon as the cloth goes in the boiling water, which means the pudding cooks beautifully. I'm going to use this bowl to help me mould the shape I want. For my mixture, you can see it's a really sticky but quite dry mixture. And now I'm just going to tie it up. And then the pudding can escape, pressed into a nice round shape I want it to cook in. A pudding like this needs to boil for about six hours. You need to tie it quite tightly because you're trying to hold the shape. Now this needs to be dropped into really boiling water. Hot water's not good enough. It's got to be really rapidly boiling. So this is a Victorian Christmas pudding, the heart of a Victorian Christmas dinner. To find the full recipe, visit the website at bbc.co.uk forward slash Victorian Christmas and Christmas.